everybody and welcome to my channel. One of the things I enjoy making the most are beauty supplies. Now, I don't make my own makeup, but I love making my own lotions and healing salves and lip gloss and all kinds of things like that. Today we're going to go back into some memories of mine and I was reading in this book and this book had all kinds of things that you can make. What are some memories of mine in this book? It talks about making your own scented dusting powder, you know, to make yourself smell really good. <laughs> and this brings back so many fond memories of my mother. My mother loved the scent of roses. And when I was a little girl, she had a lotion and it smelled so good. It smelled just like roses. I have still yet to find that. I know there is an online store called the Vermont store, which sells all kinds of things that were from the 80s and the 70s. But her rose scented lotion was something I can still smell today. Since I'm getting older, I love roses even more. And I'm starting to really enjoy the scent of roses. As you know, I've made some rose window cleaner and I've made some roses, all kinds of different things with roses, but I've never made some dusting powder. In the Country Store, Traditional Food and Country Crafts by Stephanie Donaldson it has all kinds of amazing ideas. And so we're going to make some rose powder today. If you're interested in the book, if I can find it online, I will share a link at the bottom in my description box because I know a lot of people love books like me. So here we have some cornstarch. I was doing a lot of research and I realized that talcum powder probably isn't the best for you. Cornstarch actually is very beneficial. It can absorb any kind of odors and also absorbs any kinds of sweat. So cornstarch is really, really frugal. Now in here, she uses five tablespoons of talcum powder and one tablespoon of cornstarch. But talcum powder is also extremely expensive. I had a hard time finding it reasonable. So I'm just going to go with all cornstarch. So simple. All we're going to do is find some jars. I was looking here in my canning garage to find the perfect jar. And I found this one. It's an old jelly jar. And of course, we have these that candles came in from the dollar store. And then the Dollar Tree has these jars. And they're made for... 10x sugar. I also use these for my own carpet powder. In fact, what I'm making, you could probably use it for carpet powder as well. You can use any essential oil that you wish, but today we're going to make rose scented powder. Oh, the smell of roses. You know, the smell of roses actually does more for you than what you realize. If you have anxiety or depression, just taking a sniff, just like that, a couple times a day will actually help you and boost your energy and your calmness. Roses have been known ever since the Bible times to release calmness and peace. A lot of times in the tabernacles, they would burn incense that was dipped in roses, dipped in rose oil. Mm, and the Egyptians love this. In fact, they used rose oil to embalm people with. They would put it on them because it has such a beautiful fragrance. In the Victorian times, women wore lockets. They wore necklaces right here. And inside, they had lavender or rose oil. And when they would go into the streets and it was hot and nauseating, they would open up their locket and smell the beautiful essential oils. Roses can benefit you in so many ways. It's great for your lymph nodes as well. All right, so let's get working on this. Simply, we're just gonna fill our containers halfway full with cornstarch. Now, I was able to get 10 pounds of cornstarch. I know that is a lot, but I do use cornstarch for just about all kinds of things. Now, we're not gonna fill it the whole way because we want to be able to put the rose oil in it and then shake it up really good. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up all these containers because some of them it's going to be carpet powder. Some of it it's going to be powder for me. 
and some of it is going to be gifts. If you don't like the scent of roses, you can try other scents. Do you remember the old-fashioned perfume? Lemon, I forget what it was called, lemon something, and it smelled amazing. It smelled just like lemons. You could also make sachets and put this in your closet, and it would help absorb moisture. Help make your clothing smell good. You could put this with tea tree oil to keep the moths and the bugs away if you have wool and linens like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, put this away, and then I'll show you what we do. In the book, she says peppermint oil is sporty and refreshing. And rose oil is perfumed gently, very soothing. So we're going to do five. We're going to have seven drops. So we're going to put seven drops in each one. Okay. This would also make great air fresheners. I'm going to go ahead and stir it up really, really well. It smells amazing. It's amazing how good it smells. Oh, wow. Then we're just going to go ahead and put our lids on. It's so much cheaper than buying it in the store. And then I was going through all of my canning lids and one of you lovely ladies gave me these. And what a perfect thing to use. <laughs> Aren't they neat? So I was really excited when I seen that. And just like that, in minutes, we have some beautiful powder. Now, if you wanted to keep it for gifts, I would go ahead and put some saran wrap or put some pretty paper on top of it. But it is amazing. You can also go a lot stronger if you wished, or you can go a lot lighter. There you go, my friends. It only took a minute to make beautiful rose-scented powder. And you can be rest assured that it is safe because it's cornstarch. And you might be able to use this instead of deodorant because it absorbs so much odor. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some pretty labels on my jars and then I will give them as gifts. All right, I'm going to go put some pretty labels on these jars. These labels came from another project that I was working on. We're going to go ahead and put these labels on and they'll be perfect as gifts. I even like having the labels for my own liking because I think it's so pretty. I really like having things packaged nice. It just adds a little bit of whimsical look to everything. What is your favorite scent? Is it like me? Do you like roses? What is your favorite flower? I love roses and Johnny Jump Ups, and I love sweet peas as well. Those are my favorite flowers. But what are yours? My father-in-law, he loved marigolds. He loved marigolds, and he planted them every year in his little flower garden. It is amazing how we are so different, but yet we are all so much the same. My mom's favorite flower was lilacs. Now there's a beautiful scent as well. Did I ever tell you the story about my mother? I don't think I did. There was an abandoned farm and all the buildings were tore down and there was a whole bunch of lilac trees or lilac bushes is what you want to call them. So daddy decided to take us in the pickup truck and we went into this, oh, it was a field and it was, the weeds were up to almost our waist to get to these lilac bushes. We picked and picked and picked lilacs. Mother went home and she beautifully made about 10 bouquets and had them all throughout her house. 
until an hour later, all of a sudden there was bugs everywhere. We didn't realize that the lilacs had all kinds of little black bugs on them. Mother was horrified and she quickly took all the lilacs out of the house and she proceeded to spend the rest of the day sweeping up all of these little black bugs. <laughs> that is a memory I will forever hold and whenever I see a lilac tree or bush, I think of my mother. I do think she kept a couple of the bouquets, but generally most of them I think she got rid of. <laughs> my mother was articulate and my mother was a very perfectionist when it came to everything in her life. and. These little black bugs surely put a damper on her day. <laughs> Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. Did you enjoy the video you just watched? If so, can you do something for me? It costs you nothing. Can you make sure you give me a thumbs up? The more thumbs ups I get, the better I can do in YouTube world. See you guys tomorrow.